A couple weeks ago, I made a video about Adam Sandler's new movie, The Ridiculous Six. The Ridiculous Six is a parody of The Magnificent Seven, an old-time Western, uh, spaghetti Western. <laughs> That's what they call it, right? Anyway, so it's a parody. It's funny. It's supposed to be funny. And being an Adam Sandler movie, it's over the top. It's not supposed to be serious. It's supposed to be stupid, right? And it is. Now, apparently, during the making of this film, some Native Americans who were playing roles in the movie got upset. Upset about various stereotypical displays or jokes that were in the movie. And they walked off the set or were asked to leave the set because they were protesting or something. Right? I'm getting different variations now. Anyway, in my video, I made light of the whole situation. I made a couple jokes myself. I said, what the hell, you know? And at the very beginning of my, my video, I was wearing a red skin cap. So somebody on my YouTube channel commented and they sent me a link to a joke or a bit that Chris Rock did back in the 90s. And it was about the Washington Redskins. So I listened to that clip and I'm like, wow, you know, that's, that's pretty deep, you know? So I had to make a decision. I said, you know what, man? I'm no longer going to wear my Redskins cap. I'm not. I mean, I got the Baltimore Ravens here in Maryland. I got the Washington Wizards. I got, you know, the Capitals. I got, you know, the Nationals, the Orioles. We got a lot of teams in this area. Not to mention, I could also support teams that aren't in my area. Now, this is a big step for me because I grew up being a Washington Redskins fan. I was born in D.C. General Hospital. My dad's from D.C. My mom's from New York. Um... That's beside the point. But the thing is, man, everyone in my family who cares about sports is a Redskins fan. I am a Redskins fan. Be believe me, it's not easy being one, not just because the name is controversial, but the team's play is controversial too. Just, you know, but I'm not a quitter, so I stuck with them. But the reason why I'm not going to be wearing a hat, which is the real reason I'm making this video, is because I figured, man, why am I going to piss off like all these people? And I know it may not be everyone or all Native Americans who give a shit. Like, out of 100% of Native Americans, the people that, you know, that give a shit are probably 20, 30%. I don't know. I'm guessing. And that may not seem like a large number, but why piss off 30% even, even if you can avoid it all by not wearing a hat? Then I start thinking about it. It's like, you know, man, I don't care. Like, Uncle Ben's rice don't offend me. Maybe it should. It just doesn't. Maybe because I'm black, I'm desensitized to how America's played us, you know? How the white man's played us all these years. You know, Aunt Jemima, Uncle Ben's. <laughs> I just don't get offended by it. And maybe Native Americans do with Mazzola oil and shit like that. I don't know, Washington Redskins, maybe they get offended by it. So, like... Is that Does that mean that black folks are desensitized or we're just so used to getting our asses kicked that we just kind of lose sight of, like, what's offensive? Or are Native Americans just more sensitive? Or are they more in touch with what they think and believe? Or their history? I don't know, man. It's probably combinations of everything all mixed up, which gives us what we walk away with, the way we have a world view of life and how we take things. But, um, I don't know, man. I, I never thought about it being offensive because I definitely don't mean it in an offensive way when I wear the cap. You know, that I just never looked at it that way. You know, I never thought that I was degrading someone. But if someone says they feel degraded, that's enough, right? Like, I don't have to relate to their feelings. I don't have to see it their way. The fact that someone says, hey, I'm uncomfortable, or hey, this doesn't make me feel right. I don't feel right. This bothers me. Me being a decent person should make me say, no, I don't, you know, why should I do that? Like, I don't have to do that. If if I don't have to do it, I mean, why do it? Why does displaying, like, a team emblem mean so much to me? You know, I don't play for the team. Why, why should that be an issue? It, it's not. So, from here on in, I won't be wearing the cap. And now some people want to say, Tim, you're selling out. 
I don't think so. I mean, I'm sort of like a public figure at this point. I mean, um, if you don't, if you know, like if you are watch, if you watch videos, you're not in front of as many people as I'm in front of. Understand? So, I think that's a good reason for me to look at myself like I got to hold myself to a different standard. If I can do so, if I'm comfortable doing so. Now, if I was against it, like if I was like this is, you know, this is wrong. I got to stand up for this. Then I would. So anyone who's watching this video, because I'm pretty sure this video is going to stay up as long for a long time, um, no reason for it to come down. It may be years from now that you're watching this video and you're kind of still debating about this issue, though I hope we won't be. I hope the Redskins come up with a new name, a name that I could um, rock, an emblem that I could wear without feeling like I'm stepping on someone's toes. We got enough wrong in this country. We got enough that we need to fix that we don't have to worry about or we don't have time to be sidetracked by something that is very fixable, easily fixable. I mean, realistically, the only reason why people would hold on to this name and likeness of this mascot or whatever is money. I mean, that's the only reason why I can see the organization would want to keep the name because of branding, which is money related. The history of the team is what it is. The team is what it is. So that's not a good reason. I'm not going to defend the owners of this team, their right to offend people because it makes them more money. That's just how I see it. You guys let me know what you think in the comments section. My decision's made up. But everyone's got an opinion. What's yours? Later. Hit subscribe for more of Tim Black. Tim's Take Live. Tim the Bartender.